reading then you were divinely guided here there are no such things as coincidences this is going to be a general reading for the collective so that is all placements all walks of life um, if you like the content here on my channel please like share and subscribe welcome back for those of you who have been here and are already subscribed and welcome and greetings to my beloved new viewers here all right, so this is going to be, like I said, a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. It is timeless, so whenever you're meant to see this, is simply when you are meant to see it. I'm kind of just going to freestyle, and whatever comes to me is what I will be reading from based off of. And I would like to, at this time, invoke my spiritual team, my spiritual entourage, my triple A's, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides all of those who have my best interest at heart may only the highest benevolent light may enter this space at this time i'm going to use one of my personally made empath protection archangel spray that i charge with crystals and attune with reiki now let's see what is going on within the collective it was just a new moon on friday Excuse the snoring in the background if you tend to hear that. My partner is sleeping, and it's ironic because he was not snoring before I got on um, the video. So let's see, spirit. So we have sacred gratitude coming out, reverent appreciation and prayer. So a lot of you, number 50, so five, some of you may be born on the fifth of a month. Um, a life path five or the number five just may be very significant maybe a partner of yours or a loved one child something of that nature okay so sacred gratitude reverent appreciation and prayer i feel like a lot of a lot of you at this time either need to be grateful for what you have and appreciative of all of that and or it goes both ways or some of you are really starting to realize how gratitude is a multi-manifester of abundance okay gratitude is the next highest frequency next to love okay um as well as your guides your ancestors are really um pressing you collective to step into prayer um make prayer a part of your daily routine okay a lot of you also she is touching a tree so either a lot of you have really been going out into nature lately or some of you live by or work by a tree that you are really drawn to or lately trees and nature has just kind of been naturally calling you um and you're learning to be appreciative of the earth of everything of your life like some of you have gone through a lot in your lifetime and i feel like you are finally seeing that, you know, some of you, the page has already turned to where you've been struggling and then out of nowhere, it's like God's speed, you automatically start coming into all these blessings and you're like, oh my God, I'm so appreciative. Like, I understand that I went through all of that so that I could appreciate all that, you know, God, the universe has in store for me, okay? Or some of you need to realize that and go with that perspective where I'm going through all of this, excuse me. Wow, I just dropped this precognition 13, which is four, which is four and five in perfect order. Also four and five equal nine. So an ending of a cycle, a completion, sorry, psychic ability and future vision. So some of you are also tuning in to your gifts, manifesting your gifts. Okay. And then at the bottom, I was noticing healing earth, the power to give and receive healing. And a lot of you at this time are realizing that you need to set boundaries when it comes to other people, places and things and starting to finally protect your energy. All right, Spirit, let's see what else is going on within the collective. What is going on within the collective? What is going on within the collective? 
Let's see. Let's see. Okay, no flyers. That's fine. Okay, abundance. Yes, 28. Abundance, fortune, wealth, plenty. We were just talking about, you know, manifesting physical abundance, you know, um, being grateful for what it is that you have. 28, like I said, is 10, which 9 we mentioned earlier, which is a new cycle, a new era, if you want to say, is working in with the collective energy at this time. And people are trying and realizing that you don't earn money, you attract it. You are the abundance, you know. There, the magic it resides within you. A lot of you are starting to realize, okay, I can do money mantras. I can do a lot of different things for money. It's like you're realizing a lot of you also naturally are like born hustlers. Like any way that you can try to get a dollar, you know, you'll go anywhere for $2 kind of thing. You know, like, um, you know, if you have clothes left over that you never wear, some of you really need to start or have already started like looking for ways around your house, looking backtracking to old resources that may be just lying around or things like that. Some of you may have started a business, tried to start a business and still have some ideas laying around. And I feel like for a lot of you, it was a hard winter and things have just started to like kind of turn around and become, you know, more aligned and more you know, um, relaxing, like you feel like, you know, the, the, the weight is lifting. Like a lot of you have been going through a really, you know, tough time. And I feel like a lot of you are trying to learn lessons and trying to figure out why you go through things. But a lot of times, you know, we need to just be grateful and sit with energy at times, you know, um, and turn the TV off, turn your phone off, stop scrolling and really tune into yourself and ask yourself, what is it that is keeping me stagnant? What is it that I need to learn right now? What is it that I need to learn from this situation? Because, you know, kind of like appreciating the pain, appreciating the dark times. Like some of you may suffer from seasonal depression or just feel lower around from like November to maybe February, November to March. And you're noticing that this is like an every year thing kind of, you know, um, the sun isn't out as much, but yeah, I'm just, I'm getting that a lot of you need to come out of this poverty mindset to where, you know, you may have grown up on housing or your parents, you know, or just you've had to struggle for everything that you get. And it's almost like your parents, story and life has kind of bled into yours and it's like you're trying to break free from that so we have sacred gratitude and abundance using gratitude making gratitude lists and being grateful for what you have as a way to manifest for your abundance there's a lot of abundance and wealth that's coming to you in the form of you know maybe um if you're starting a business you need to realize it takes money to make money so investing in yourself and like a lot of you need to understand there's a universal law when you take one step toward doing something and put the effort out there the universe god whatever it is that you believe in whatever you call on whatever you pray to you can pray to everything if you fucking feel like it you know it's your life to do with it what you will and if you put take one step toward doing something for your life that see sacred action exactly decisive focus this is if you take action the universe god will meet you will match that energy double like and that's why a lot of people don't understand and a lot of people are sitting around waiting for miracles to fall in their lap it's like no there's no there's there that doesn't it doesn't work like that you know building your world exactly it is your world it's it's up to you what you do with it we've got 33 here okay a resurrection this is how old jesus was when he was crucified and when he ascended but kept coming back you know um and this is, you know, three plus three is six. So earlier we had four, five, six, right? That beautiful synchronistic order. Okay. Um, some of you also have maybe going through a cycle from 2017 or there was something at age 17 that really took a toll on you. And ever since then, you've kind of been in like this fight or flight energy or just for some of you, you know, maybe born on an eighth of a month, eighth, eighth life path number something. Um, to where, you know, it's hard for you to really focus lately or in the past, in the recent past to focus on being appreciative and, you know, because things have just never came easy for you. OK, but we have building your world, creation, expansion, networking. Some of you, it's time to come. No, a lot of you, the collective, it's time to come out of the cave. OK. And right here with five again, clarity. 
planning, releasing, illusion, building your world and taking action with very with decisive focus, making sure that things in your life are goal oriented, making vision boards, making a journal that is set for your goals. Because when you put stuff on paper and you bring what's in your mind, your soul, your your imagination into the physical realm on paper, that is a very easy and way, very unique and very simple way to manifest. People kind of make it harder than it is. There's so much out there right now talking about, you know, manifestation and it's everywhere. But it's like nobody is really giving simple tips. And maybe if they are, it's like some of you aren't able to really find it, you know. Um, tips on what it is that you need to be doing to manifest and a lot of them are kind of like making it to where you know it's just a little too complicated so I want to be able to give you advice in a simple form writing things down you know so we have death and rebirth and that's what I was going to say too with the 33 you know this is kind of like a tomb kind of looks so a resurrection you're being reborn okay because you're rebuilding your world not the world that I said like I said earlier that you were kind of born into and a story that wasn't yours you are not your mother you are not your father your story is your story and their their decisions their karma does not have to you know flow into yours okay a lot of you are realizing you know being the black sheep of the family is actually something that is beneficial for you and there's a reason for that because you were not meant to stay around your physical family you know you're the family that physically brought you in here a lot of you are finally breaking free from that building your own world being grateful for the lessons being grateful for the people that may have hurt you because that was all to teach you a lesson. And look, this card just had to come out showing you like this is Isis. Some of you may even be interested or um, feeling called to work with Isis. And I also feel as though from some of you, some of you have been going through something. There was something very traumatic for a lot of you collective at ages 13 and 19 is what I just channeled within that year frame. Or maybe for some of you, it's those ages 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You know, because these are your teenage years. And a lot of times we'll act out in our teenage years, everything that we um, kept inside and absorbed from being a baby to teenage years, because up to baby to teenage, we're just taking in our environment. We're taking in everything around us. And then it's when we turn a teenager where we start lashing out and expressing everything that we absorbed up until that point, okay? So we've got death and rebirth, like I was talking about the resurrection, darkness embracing that some of you also have the spirit animal of a black panther um yeah so some of you also are looking back some of you need to look back into the past to gain certain clarity to release the illusions that other people put on you um and i say that in a religious perspective ways that you think you need to understand that how important your mind your words are and releasing illusions around religious beliefs okay i'm not knocking anybody on what they believe in but a lot of times we only become christian or buddhist or whatever it is because we're told to you know i feel like a lot of you are being able to open your heart releasing any fear that was given to you around certain you know religious beliefs or just in family in general um and then we've got 11 and 34 here which is 7 and 11 um 7 11 june i'm sorry july 11th and november 7th um as well as January 17th, okay? Um, but yeah, so we've got loss, lack, fear, victimization, open, opening heart, deep connections, water, blessings, okay? A lot of you also are working with some type of water element or water goddess or something like that. What? What, boo-boo? What? I told you the homie was doing a reading. You want some? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, but yeah, so you're, you're getting out of this lack mindset. Like I was talking about in the beginning, you're realizing that you are the creator of your destiny and you, and, and anything that you have lost, you know, I feel like maybe there's somebody that in your, in your recent past, or even like really recent, like you just lost somebody, um, whether that be to death or relationship, whatever that may be. And for some of you, 
you know, it you're looking at it like it's something so bad, but you're you gain clarity, you know, and of course you're gonna go through hardship, you're gonna be upset about it, you know, you're gonna feel pain around losing this person, whatever it is, it's different for everybody. But there were certain illusions based around this connection that had to go. Um, and some of you really need to cleanse, okay? Getting into spiritual baths, um, salt baths, salt showers, okay? We really need to start focusing on cleansing ourselves. That way we can reach our fullest potential, okay? For me, along my journey, I would use spiritual baths. I'm a Pisces, so a Pisces sun, Scorpio moon. So for me, I would use um, spiritual baths as like a traveling pod to connect with my light body, my higher self, and my team, my spiritual team, okay? So we've got memories. Yep, there are some of you receive. So some of you are going to be receiving some past life memories after you finish reading or watching this video, sorry, um, because of the space and the type of um, intuitive medium that I am you are automatically I attune the space with Reiki and um, an activation so automatically just by you viewing this reading you are sinking into the energy and you are being your DNA is being activated and you are going to start receiving certain memories even memories from this life that are going to come up and maybe they already have um, but this is going to kind of like catapult you into receiving the memories and making new ones but also receiving memories that are stored in your subconscious that need to become that need to come up in order for you to heal move forward okay because you don't want to push away the people around you that are actually good for you and for your rise and you know you're a very intuitive collective and for those of you who feel that you aren't you really need to start working out that muscle just like when we go to the gym because we want to feel better look better you know, be more healthy and work those muscles out. It's the same with your brain. You have got to work out your muscles in your brain because being in fight or flight mode and brain, it's repti your reptilian mind. When you are in that state, you are constantly pumping out stress hormones from your amygdala and your hippocampus is constantly shrinking, okay, which also causes soul fragments to separate from you. And that's why I always recommend soul retrievals. I do offer soul retrievals. Um, click the link in my bio if that's something that you would be interested in. For those of you who suffer from trauma, anxiety, depression, and for some of you who just feel disconnected, feel like, you know, you know that you're 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 special you know that you have certain gifts but there's some type of blockage okay um let's see memories you are your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit more and more memories are arising within you remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world for neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another also like i said somebody has recently lost somebody or even maybe as a child and around the ages that i mentioned maybe you lost somebody dear and close to you okay and for some of you, there are a lot of passed on loved ones present here at this time. Um, if I'm called to do it at the end, I will channel directly to see um, who is exactly here. Any names, um, sim um, symbols, or any specific stuff. So that way it can reach directly to you, okay? Um, and I do offer, like I said, passed on loved one readings as well. Just click the link in my bio if you're interested in looking into my services. Okay, and I do work with people um, as far as like payment arrangements and stuff. I never want money to get in the way of me helping you, especially if you feel guided to reach out. Receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. Didn't I mention that earlier? Because we had receiving. Um, okay, sorry. It's But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive just as the ebb and flow of the tides. The art of giving and receiving is the natural law and the order of the universe. Yeah, that did come out, but I just didn't pull it. Um, let's pull some of these from my diamond deck since diamond came out. Let's see. What do we have in here for the collective? And I will pull from my love oracle for some of you who may be in love or have some questions or need clarification around love. I'm not taking that. It's too many. Am I taking that spirit? No, too many. Okay. Ooh. am i taking that okay this actually came out look the cave right here on the bottom didn't we say didn't i say coming out of the cave wow spirit okay and then we have the lover here at the bottom and i just mentioned love 
Okay, some of you also may have even lost a loved one. I mean, like a lover. Like they passed on, they transitioned. Okay, we've got the storm and the dead end. Yeah, so some of you have, like I said earlier, are really going through something that's very transformational. Some of you may also have a lot of Scorpio in your chart. The dead end, the storm. Yeah, so some of you may even live in like a cul-de-sac or maybe you're going to go driving one day and you're going to see that it's like a one-way street or you reach a dead end and you're going to find something very specific. Or some of you have already done this where you've gotten in your car and you've let spirit kind of just lead you and you wind up going to like or finding something really magical or, or very like this can't just be a coincidence. So some of you may even be going through something or have gone through something with a lover um, that is causing a lot of stir up, a lot of storms, okay, a lot of crying. Some of you are crying a lot. Some of you have been in isolation for a long time as well. Um, some of you isolate when you're you're feeling, um, you know, pain. You isolate, mirror, yeah. So there's somebody in your life that definitely mirrors your energy. Maybe a karmic connection. Um, yeah. Some of you may also just feel like, you know, there's no more hope for you in this connection. There's no more, like, you feel like all is lost. Like, there's there's nothing more that can be done in this relationship you've reached a dead end you've done all you can you know you you feel like i've tried let's see let's see show me something for the collective spirit the next step. oh wow this foam floor two i didn't even see the innovation new creations 20 okay so some of you also had a mass fucking awakening in 2020 right so the whole entire world did for real the collective did okay builder your innate ability to build and create brings you deep sense of accomplishment okay and this is on my purpose deck so hmm that's interesting okay some of you may love to like reupholster things or do a lot of diys uh, books okay this is the only one that flipped over so i'll take that books you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books so some of you really love to read um and some of you are being called to seek out some books okay we've got options consider the career possibilities that are open to you wow and then we have freedom so some of you are, are torn between you know breaking out of that nine to five you are free to do what you choose like you want to follow your heart but you also don't want to seem too impulsive either right um you may be fear of fear have fear of judgment from other people or what will my partner say what will my family say what will my fit my partner's family think you know um am i doing it would that be impulsive of me or would that be am, am i doing the best but for my children if i do this or that you know i feel like a lot of you your mind has just been racing on a lot of different things you need to gain it's like you're trying to release illusions you're trying to plan and manifest and come into abundance but it's like it's like you're preparing to move into a whole new energy but you're trying to grasp it it's like you're trying to do do it on a more down-to-earth grounded way and there's like um, resistance, there's like certain conflicts that are happening and that's okay. Okay, just keep going, keep moving forward, keep facing your true north. We have renewal, 27. Regeneration begins with decay. Hmm. I kind of want to read that out the book. Regeneration begins with decay, 27. Nine again. And we had 28 out here too. Renewal. Regeneration begins with decay. Where is that book? Let me see. Is it right here? Bet. Yep, let's read it, you guys. Sometimes I love to read um, from the book because, you know, the creators have put so much unique intention into it. And I just, you know, I really want to be able to provide that direct message from you. Normally, I intuitively, you know read the card but for some reason some of you may also have ties to native american cherokee blackfoot cheyenne some type of um, native american connections here when the foundation of your life cracks or the identity we understand 
understands ourselves through collapses. It can take some time to clear out the wreckage. It can even take longer to build a new vision and begin constructing our life's new direction going forward from it. Have I not been saying this the whole time? Wow. Internally, we must first undergo a radical shift in thinking and feeling. It is so radical that once it is fully processed, it has the power to reconfigure who we are in ways that enhance and restore our vitality. The gestation period can be challenging and at times bring us to our knees. Like the snake, we go through the pain of shedding the skin of our past and growing beyond our former life. It can hurt beyond belief to grieve over all that we need to let go of, especially if we are still heavily attached to or over identify with what was and who we understood ourselves to be. The feeling can be so overwhelming that it feels like death. There we go. This is because it is metaphorically. The main non-literal deaths we experience throughout life are releasing whatever has come to an end. The nature of our continual evolution requires us to rid ourselves of all that debris, of all the debris our life, wait, I'm sorry, us to rid of all the debris in allowing for the new. If something has left or ceased to be in our life, we are asked by our spirit self to trust that it is necessary for our highest growth. If we truly need what is lost, we will essence, we will in essence, but not necessarily form, find it eventually returned in an improved state. And if not, what is now genuinely right and necessary for us will come in due course. Nonetheless, the shock of what is not the same and painfully missed can continue to shatter and devastate us until we fully comprehend and restabilize from what has ended and is no more. To proceed with the unanticipated is all that remains in our power to do so. This often requires a level of maturity acceptance that we need to develop. Patience is a virtue that it behoves us to have with ourselves throughout these dark periods. Like winter turns to spring overnight. I brought that up too. We too awake one morning with the energy continue and with the incredible lightness of renewal. Renewal takes the time it takes. Nature will not be rushed. However, your spirit self will eventually awaken and shine through you. The featured guardian has shown up to remind you that renewal opens you further into all that you are. It is time to surrender something of who you believe you are to experience how much of you there is to be explored and enjoyed long term it is much more arduous and painful to remain stuck and and sorry and limited because you have refused to fully shed and leave behind the dead skin of your past the challenging process of regeneration is all about expanding into your new beginning embrace the next chapter of your life and let it be the best one so far renewal reconciles every ending Renewal reconciles every ending to its new beginning. Woo, woo, okay. And then that's on page 86, 87, and 88. So those numbers may also be of significance, collective. And let's wrap this reading up with some self-care advice, okay? What it is that the collective needs right now to pay attention to, to get on the right track so we are able to manifest and create and heal the past wounds that are holding us back. And I'm also going to be um, pulling some love uh, cards as well. Okay, let's see. Well, this fell out. Following your intuition, 28, what? What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Boo boo, I'm almost done. Go sit down. Let me finish this reading, please. Take this off the charger. Why? Why? What's the matter? Here, go sit down, boo boo. I'm almost done. Go. All right. So we've got 28 again. Look out for that year as well. I would really keep that, that year in mind, okay? And as soon as I split the deck, look at that 29 journal. I think we were talking about journaling too. Yeah, letting your intuition journal. So some of you also have a gift of writing. Active writing is a way that your guides wish to connect with you as well. Okay. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Okay, we've got look for fairies. 28, 29, and 30. So some of you are 
connected to the fairy realm and may not even know it yet, but through this reading, you are now going to be enlightened and intrigued and guided to look for fairies. That is a first. This has never came out in a reading that I've done here on my channel. Wow. I may even read this out the book because that is so damn dope. Sound healing, 47. And this is also something, as you can see, I have a sound bowl here. Um, when I do my hypnosis, so I do past life regression hypnosis and just hypnosis in general for healing trauma. And I do do sound healing and I'm going to start incorporating sound healing here on my channel at some point. Okay. And then here is that 11 to 47 is 11. Sorry. Hold on. Um, so yeah, some of you need to journal in intuitively and focus on sound healing to reprogram your brain your subconscious mind listen to meditations while you sleep so it'll be so it'll so you, if especially if you're not one to meditate naturally um start meditating in your sleep that way you can kind of ease into it and i swear to god it takes 21 days for you to form a habit and it's like 21 28 days total there's that number 28 it takes 28 days total for your brain to what was it i had it on my phone it takes i'll put it on i'll put it um in the description right here i'll make sure i put it right here when i post the reading exactly what 20 it takes 28 days to do something about your brain so yes you really need to start either getting your own sound bowl which i highly recommend but also just listening to different frequencies online okay and i am going to start doing as well sound healing sound baths and guided meditations okay because i get so many comments here on my channel like i like your voice i like your voice so yeah and i'm also gonna um start doing asmr and i also go live all the time over on my tiktok because i'm trying to build my channel over there as well so yes we have sound healing okay let me pick one more card and then i am going to be reading um the fairies one Hydrate, 27. All right, Spirit, give me one more card. Then I'm going to pull a love. Wow, ground yourself. Some of you need to go connect with nature, okay? Walk around on the grass barefoot. I swear, Mother Earth, she feels amazing. Okay, let's see what came out. Aromatherapy, yes. Turn on a diffuser and do some aromatherapy with some essential oils, okay? And dream journaling. Yeah, so some of you have a true sight. That's three and two, five. There's that five again that came out in the beginning, okay? Um, and then 33. I mean, I'm sorry, 23. So this is your year, okay? This is something that you need to implement. This is something that is a message directly from your guides. We have aromatherapy, dream journal. Some of you may already really be big into herbalism, aromatherapy already, essential oils, okay? Because aromatherapy is so beneficial. There's so many benefits from aromatherapy, okay? And it is affordable. There are no excuses to your development. This is your life, okay? It's time like it said to rewrite your story because your life has so much magic waiting for you and is in store for you like i can see it feel it sense it just the fact that fairies came out for the collective they're your earth angels okay let's read it though let's read look for fairies yes okay let's see here so the mantra for this card is what I believe I see appear before me. Belief is so damn powerful, okay? Keep your eyes and ears open for evidence of fairies and other ethereal beings. Remember, they are genuinely all around you, brimming with creative ideas and guidance to help you on your journey. You just have to tune into their presence, but first you have to believe that they exist. Whatever we focus on and put energy toward will shape our life experience. The magic surrounding us can typically be seen only by those who are in a state of joy looking at the world through the eyes of a child and open to infinite possibilities. Soften your gaze. Don't touch this. Soften your gaze when you are outside in nature and keep aware of what you spy in your peripheral vision. You may just see fairies playing in the sunshine and by flowing water. If you whisper to them from within, they'll often whisper back with a cheeky little remark. Be kind and respectful to them and they won't toy with you too much. How do you think you can, you can connect more with your childlike sense of wonder and keep open to life's infinite potential? Wow, okay. 
beautiful message. Yes, so if you don't know, now you know, okay? Now let's look into, give me some love messages for the collective spirit. And then I'm just going to try to channel some, you know, maybe some letters or a name for some of you. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon, collective. And then engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So those are clearly two separate messages. Let's get a couple more since this is a collective reading. And not everybody's is going to be the same. Okay. Sorry. All right, we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And we mentioned religious beliefs um, in the beginning. Okay, one more for love. Thank you, spirit. All right, we have past life relationship. You have known each other before. Okay, so that is for you. Now I'm going to sink in to the energy of the reading and see if there's anything that I can channel intuitively for you guys. Oh, my ear just started ringing. And got quiet as soon as I said that. It's like it got clogged. You know when your ears, when you're driving like on a hill or something and you know, you put the window up and your ear kind of feels like it got clogged. And okay, let me, I heard Harold almost right away. H, Harold. Okay. Harry. <laughs> I heard diamond again, and I know that that came up. Some of you may have a diamond ring or some type of jewelry from a past on loved one. I'm hearing like, be quiet, quiet so you can hear me. Juicy fruit. Um, that may be significant for somebody. Somebody's past on loved one may have really liked juicy fruit and they want that as like an offering. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Sorry, I'm, it's like a, a lot, but time. There's somebody who passed on very suddenly and they need help going to the light. There's somebody who died in a very traumatic way and it was so quickly that they're kind of lost in limbo, earthbound. And there's somebody here watching that is very, very sad over this loss. And your family member doesn't want to leave your side fully, even though they never really leave, even once they ascend. They don't want to leave your side yet because of how hurt and traumatized you are. I'm hearing shock trauma. So some of you may have even had something happen to you where shock trauma came or they had shock trauma come. Give me some um, symbols or letters of names. I heard S, T. <laughs> it's crazy because they come together, right? S, T. H again, because Harold came up earlier. Teresa. Teddy bear. Some of you may have a teddy bear that you've had since childhood, or some of you had a specific teddy bear that you held as a child that maybe this past on loved one gave to you as a gift. 
I'm hearing Shirley Temple. Some of you may want to give, or maybe that's something that this loved one drank, or you like drinking. I heard light ice. <laughs> Some of you love like rock or they love rock metal, like hardcore rock or like I'm hearing um, Journey, um, uh, Led Zeppelin. What is said I am that? No, hold on. I'm almost finished. Any more messages, please, Spirit. I'm getting a symbol of like, um, like some type of like backyard with, with, um, with like, didn't we talk about this earlier didn't we talk about this earlier when i said that you could stay up didn't we let me see and like a backyard with like a screened in porch in the back or um some type of what is it called fire pit or like bonfires in the backyard Yeah, I'm smelling like the, the burnt wood, like the, yeah, that's what I'm smelling. Mom. Roasting marshmallows, hold on. Yeah, some of you went camping a lot as a child too. Orphan, wow, I just was guided to pick up my deck, orphan. Some of you may have even been adopted or almost adopted or maybe your parents were adopted or something like that. The ring. Didn't I say there was a ring? And look at that, the womb. So some of you maybe have even lost a child. I'm so sorry. Um, or, you know, you almost didn't make it or something like that. There's a ring. There's some type of jewelry um, as well as um, this may even be a mother or a father. Definitely mother because womb came out. Look at that, the gem. Because I said diamond or something. This is my diamond deck. The one. Yeah, they want you to know you are the one. You are the chosen one. They're like, I never pick favorites for those of you who have siblings. 4144 was just on the clock too when I said the one. 144,000. Look, the orphan again when I split the deck. Wow. The vessel. Yep. I feel like they're saying they were the vessel that brought you here because and it's time that you live in your purpose. There's some of you that your past on loved one really wants you to fulfill your purpose. Look, the vessel. Again, when I just split the deck. Wow. Animal. Some of you lost an animal. For some of you, your animal passed away. And they're always around you. The mystic. Yep, look at that. This is you. Okay. The bridge. Yep. Some of you may live across a bridge. Or some of you may have even um, had a loved one uh, who was cremated. And some of you may even still have their ashes. Or maybe you guys like let their ashes go over a body of water. A bridge. Something like that. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's amazing. Judge. Some of you have even maybe um, have gone to court or... Um, something around about like around the legal system the maiden look into the maiden archetype okay and the judge there's a specific message in these two archetypes for you yep the pilgrim hmm yeah some of you definitely definitely have either a lot of people that you've lost or not lost but they you know transcended trans transitioned okay that's really all i'm getting for you guys all right um and then the last couple messages ground yourself and clear your energy so this is a, another one from them um i do do energy work energy healing i'm a reiki attuned master connect with earth okay and clear your energy smoke smudge yourself okay in your place Clean out your closet. Get some new, just some new energy in your space, okay? All right. That is all I'm seeing for you. I hope you like this reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're interested in any type of services, please click the link in the description box below. And um, I will see you guys in my next reading or video until we meet again.